Hello and welcome to the biology topic of cells, lesson four, microscopes. So we've looked at cells, we've looked at the structure and the organelles in different cells, we've looked at what they group together to form tissues, we've looked at organs and organ systems and transports of cells. Finally we're going to look at microscopes because um, we need to be able to see these cells. So think about why you would use a microscope. Obviously I've just said to see cells but why do you need them? to see the cell. So any ideas you have, either jot down on the worksheet if you've opened it up in another tab or printed it off, or on a bit of paper. And then have a think about, are there any parts of this microscope that you can name? Because that is what we're going to be learning. So just have a think of any of these, that you, any of these parts, you can see that you know the name of and label them, jot them down. Okay, so we're going to run through the different parts of the microscope and explain what they're also used for as we go through this lesson. So first bit is this here is the eyepiece lens. The eyepiece lens is obviously the lens that we look through with our eye. It's the first lens that we look through. It has got some magnification on it. This bit here is the rough focusing knob. It's worth saying that that could be positioned slightly differently on different microscopes. And also your microscope that uh, you might see in a textbook or the microscope you may have at home, if you're lucky enough to have one, or that you use in class, it may not look exactly like this, and it will all have all the similar parts. So the rough focusing knob will move um, the, Lens is here closer to the stage. Then you have got the stage and that is where you will place your specimen. Next, you've got the fine focusing knob, which you will focus in on the specific detail of the cell. Then here, the objective lens, once you've got that in place, that will give you a higher level of magnification. That's the lens that focuses specifically on the object, on the specimen that's on your slide. This here is the handle. So when you're carrying a microscope, you will have one hand on the handle and one hand on the base. And here, because we're looking at light microscopes, this will have the mirror. It would be angled slightly differently, usually so that the light source can hit the mirror, reflect it up through the stage. So you need to know how to use the microscope. Remembering that the main aim is to magnify the object that's far too small to see with the naked eye. That's why we use it to look at cells. So you need to make sure that your microscope is near a window or a bright light, and then that light can hit the mirror that's down here. Obviously angle that mirror so it then reflects that light up through this gap here in the stage. And you will use these two silver clips here. You'll use these to clip your slide specimen to the stage. And then these lenses can be rotated. This is the wheel here. You can rotate these round. You want it on the lowest power lens to start with, so the lowest number. That might be five, might be 10, and you will also have ones for um, maybe 20, 30, or 50. And then you will use the rough focusing knob to move the objective lens closer to the slide. You must make sure you don't hit the slide because that could cause you to smash the slide. I've seen that done so many times in lessons, really important you don't do that. And then you will look down the eyepiece, so you'll now be able to see your slide and your outline of the specimen, or at least a blur of the specimen. And then you'll use the fine focusing knob here, and that will enable you to get a clearer image of your slide specimen. Once you've done that, as you want to see more detail, you can rotate the objective lenses round and go up the power, and that will let, enable you to see more detail on the slide. It's at this point that you might want to be sketching a diagram of what you can see. You could do comparison diagrams where you do them on the lower power lens and the next level up. Um, each time you change the objective lens to a new power, you will need to refocus slightly, particularly with the fine focus. Okay, so to finish off, some examples of different microscope images to see whether you can actually recognise what they are. Because previously when we've given you, when I've given you pictures of cells, um, they have been images, not actual microscope images, and they look slightly different and you need to be able to recognise these. 
take a look at this one. Have a go at just jotting down what you think each one of these five might be. And some that you might recognise. And do remember that the colour may be true, but also isn't always true. It's quite important. Okay, first one then. This is the palisade layer in a leaf. These are, these dark ones here, are all full of palisade cells. Okay, and if we look at that one there, you can see a little white bit in the middle I'm just covering up. That is a vacuole within that single palisade cell. Okay, next one here, red blood cells. And you can see, this is a good one to see, but I've just covered up here, move it down. You can see where it's lighter in the middle, where the indent is, where it's concave, where it just goes sort of in in the middle like that. Remember, there's no nucleus, although some of these like that on there looks like it is, but it's just at the angle that the image is taken. Next one, this one here, it's a white blood cell. And this one here's a muscle cell. You can see these are cell organelles here. These are all mitochondria, and you can see those wiggly lines that we talked about in the previous lesson, and they're the site of respiration. And then the final one here, the colour is a giveaway on this one. So these are chloroplasts within plant cells. 